Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Tony FX here, and just before the topic of the video begins, I just want to explain why I've been absent on making videos, and that is because, well, uh, I'm moving to a different house, plus I have school, so it's just really a giant mess, but I'm trying my best to upload videos, but it probably isn't every day I'm uploading or every week, I'm just trying my best, um, but I will just upload when I can, so please be patient, but anyways, let's get started with the video topic, which is... How to make on uh, 3D text on um, Android, but I'm not 100% sure about iOS. If you can get Pixel Lab and PS Touch on iOS, then you're ready to go. But anyways, let's get started. So once you're in Pixel Lab, press the plus button, press text, go to the pencil, pencil again, and just type in your text. I'm just gonna type in my name, and um, after that. Um, I'm just gonna move it to the middle and you have if you can see all these edited options that you can make your text into I'm gonna make my text big and um, You can I'm gonna change the font and the font. I like to use it's called adventure is in my opinion It's really cool, but you can just use your own fonts So I'm just gonna use it and after that um, You can also make it 3d on this, but I don't exactly like the 3Dness on well on this because you have to move to a certain position like all of this stuff. I don't exactly like it. I'm gonna do it on PS Touch because in my opinion I like it how it looks on PS Touch when I do it. But yeah, uh, if one all you, all you have to do is just do it like this. Just put the white color in the font. Press the share button. Press the mentions, and what it really, all of it really means is, uh, just the quality of it, how the definition looks. So I'm gonna put an ultra, which is the highest definition. I'm gonna save to my gallery, and after it goes to your um gallery, we're gonna go to PS Touch. So I'll meet you there. All right, we're here. So here's the steps that you need to do. So uh, go to this, go to select pixels, go to the and thingy, go to gradient. And after that, yes, you have to do this. This certain texture of the gradient. And you just have to maneuver it just to the middle of the, like, to the words, in a way. And there we go. So, after that, just deselect it. Actually, no, don't deselect it. Don't deselect it. Go to FX. Um, tint it. And you can just change the color of the name if you want to. So I'm just going to make it a purple, and I'm going to make it a bit dark. And after that, um, let me just change it a bit darker. Just check mark it, and after that, press, to, um, press the plus button, and press layer from section. And go to the bottom layer, and after that, uh, actually no, um, select pixels. Go to the and, press fill and stroke. Go to color. And press the black and make the capacity lower than 50. So I'm just going to make it like a 37. And after that, um, press deselect. Move it around. And just move it over here like that. And it looks 3D in a way. So here's a problem with PS Touch. It doesn't actually connect this line right here. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So get your polygon tool. Whoopsies. Go to the polygon tool, which is, um, let me get it. This. And after that, um, you have to outline the missing area. Like, like this. And after that, go to, um, paint tool. And you have to go right here and do that. So, that's how you do it. But, uh, you have to do it to all the things. So, I'm just gonna speed this up real quick. So, yeah. Alright, we're done. So after you've done that, um, go to the top layer, press empty layer, press and, press fill in stroke, and make the color white, and make the 
uh, capacity 100%. Go to the first layer, press select pixels, press uh, after that, go to the white layer, go to the pencil, and press uh, clear. And after that, press uh, caution blur and make it 12%. Alright, let me do this real quick. So after that, um, press uh, extract. And after that, go to the layers, go to, um, press overlay, and it has that kind of glow effect, which, in my opinion, I like. And after that, um, you have to combine them all, but I'm not going to add the glow layer, because you never know if you don't like it, it's just, it's my kind of style. So, after you've done that, press, um, duplicate layer, and this is optional, you can just make it like this if you want. But if you wanted to have like this bubble around it, you can add it. So go um go to select pixels, go to film stroke, and go to the color, the shadow color, the darkest shadow color. And after that, I'm gonna make it even darker. Wait, not too dark though. And there we go. So after that, um press these uh, actually yeah. So go to the end, press fill and stroke, press stroke, and make the width, like, kind of big. And, uh, let me just, it's not very easy to do this in a way. So, after you do the stroke, uh, all you have to do now is, one, if there's a hole in your name, just... Um, just color it in. So I'm just gonna go to the paint tool and just circle that in to color that in in a way. So there we go. So after you've done that, press duplicate layer, go to the bottom layer, and make it even darker again. And not stroke, you have to press fill and go to and make it darker. There we go. And I'm just gonna make it lower. And let's just make it in a way you don't have to make it 3D and connect it. So it's not very easy to do this. It can be. And almost there. Uh, I guess that's good. Yeah. So there we go. That's how you do your 3D text. But if you want to make it even better in a way, just um, this is how I do it in sometimes on my thumbnails. Go to the plus layer, press duplicate layer, press select um, pixels, go to lighting, and make it like this in a way. And after you've done that, um, press check mark, press empty layer, um, press deselect, press and and fill in stroke, and go to the white. And after that, um, go to, to the this layer. And make uh, make it to select pixels. Go back to the white layer. Go to the pencil. Go press clear. And press glow. And after that, press blur and make it um, like that. You can make it to 38 or whatever, 50. Well, I'm just going to make it to like in 40. Nah, 40. Um, it all really depends. So I'm just going to like it, make it 43. Alright, I'm going to press extract, go to the bottom, and I'm just going to make it, uh, go to the layer, and make it a blend mode, and press overlay. And, um, I can't exactly see it with the white background, so I'm going to make an empty layer and put it to the floor, press and, press fill and stroke. And after that, you have to press the black, and it can stay clearly. So, you can move it around the blend layer. However you like, because I don't like it original. Kind of doesn't fit me. And there we go. So I'm just going to make it duplicate the white layer. And now, this in my opinion, I really like. It's really dope in my opinion. And I just like it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, how you make the 3D text. I hope you do enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Peace.